Chapter 633, Priceless Fowl. One alchemist bit his lips and shouted his bid. 510,000. However, this alchemist's bid was short-lived since Ji and Wash Wang from the Jian clan doubled the bid. 1 million. This type of bidding method made everyone speechless and upset. No one wanted to be a fool by raising the price so much. But what could they do? All the buyers here knew the background of this arrogant girl, so they could only accept it. Who was to blame for her having so much money? 10 million. However, right after Ji and Wash Wang's bid, another explosive bid was made. The honor guest's heart skipped a beat after hearing this bid. Is he crazy? Everyone looked towards the direction of the bid and found that the person who raised the price to an astronomical amount was Li Kai. They were all stunned and had no words to say about this rich baron. Jian Wash Wang's doubling of the price was already hard to accept, but Li Kai raising it by ten times caused them to lose their minds. They gazed at each other in amazement. Ten million. This was a price not too many people in this room could afford. The auctioneer shivered on the platform and thought that he had misheard. So he had to repeat. Ten million? He had been doing this for a while, and this was his first time seeing someone raising the price by ten times. This was simply too outrageous. Correct. Ten million. Li Kai nonchalantly replied. Bei Wang and Shi Hao felt helpless as well, but they had already become numb to such a feeling. In the beginning, Li Kai's high bidding style scared them silly, but now, they had gotten used to it. At this point, Jian Wash Wang glared at Li Kai. It was clear that he wanted to oppose her. After a while, she turned away and arrogantly proclaimed, 20 million. This was met with Li Kai's relaxed tone, my bad. My refined jades are of the rising era paragon grade. Jian Wash Wang laughed proudly and retorted, my refined jades are also of the rising era paragon grade. She looked at him again and issued a challenge. No matter how much money you can put out, I will follow it to the very end. She looked as if she had too much money to spend and wanted to kill someone by throwing money at them. Who was to blame for her being the golden daughter of the Jian clan? Rumor has it that the clan only had one daughter. So how could she not be arrogant? The buyers, at this time, were completely speechless. Many alchemists lamented their lack of luck, but they knew better and gave up on this competition since they couldn't compare to these two rich fellas. Li Kai only gave her a stern glance then shifted his gaze and smiled before slowly speaking. You really want to follow along to the end? I'll bid 100 immortal emperor refined jades. At this time, countless people stood up all at once and exclaimed, what? How could anyone be crazier than this? Bei Wang and Shi Hao, who were numbed by this, dropped to the ground. Bei Wang was quivering as he stuttered. Young master, this. This. These are immortal emperor refined jades you are talking about. One had to know that immortal emperor refined jades were a thousand, no, ten thousand times more precious than virtuous paragon refined jades. It was very difficult to obtain them. So since the start of time, their owners were either immortal emperors or imperial lineages. Great powers couldn't get their hands on them. Unless their ancestors were once loyal to immortal emperors and were rewarded with these jades, I know. Li Kai said with a smile. Li Kai didn't only go to the dangerous burial grounds. No one else knew that below the Yin Yang Pond in the Golden Palace, he hid many supreme treasures and even refined jades. After being around for tens of millions of years, his wealth had reached a monstrous amount. Although grooming the group of immortal emperors like Minutes Ren spent an unbelievable amount of wealth, it also allowed him to regather a monstrous amount as well. In the past, before his departure, Li Kai conveniently left behind a bunch of refined jades in the Golden Palace. But immortal emperor Qi Anli didn't use them, so when he came back, he casually took them away. The buyers felt that this was too outrageous. Is this necessary? Using immortal emperor refined jades to trade for an alchemy fowl? Although the alchemy fowl was indeed very valuable, it wasn't to this degree. Immortal emperor refined jades were extremely rare. A few great powers, after obtaining them, would just hide them away and wouldn't use them without caution. But now, Li Kai was using 100 immortal emperor refined jades to trade for this chicken, making others think that he was insane. Such a prodigal son. Many from the previous generation didn't know what to say. They had seen many young masters throwing money away like trash, and they also did the same when they were young. However, compared to Li Kei, all of these young masters were quite frugal in comparison. He could scare people to death by spending immortal emperor refined jades like this. Many people had never even seen this kind of jade their whole life and didn't know what they looked like. Everyone at this scene had their breaths taken away by Li Kai's frightening bid. The auctioneer was completely stunned. The Golem Square was quite famous in a giant bamboo country and the alchemy realm, ranking among the top five, and among the auctions he had hosted. The auctioneer could count the times when immortal emperor refined jades were used with his hands. However, this was his first time seeing someone immediately bidding 100 of them in an instant. Amidst the silence, Li Kai reminded the auctioneer, if no one else is bidding, then give the three final calls. The auctioneer regained his composure and quickly called out, 100 immortal emperor refined jades, going once. Jian Wash Wang bit her teeth once and deepened her tone to say, I bid 105 jades, I can pawn a treasure to provide this amount. The person in charge of the Golem Square quickly said, if Miss Jihan didn't bring any immortal emperor refined jades, then you can just write it down as credit. There is no need to pawn anything. He could feel sweat beads dripping down his forehead. Since Jihan Wash Wang was the golden daughter of the Jian clan, the Golem Square allowed her to put it on her credit. An imperial lineage like the Jian clan wouldn't renege on a payment. However, she was obviously not confident this time and didn't go about doubling the bid like before. She only added five jades this time. The truth was that five jades were already scary enough. Ordinary people simply couldn't afford the sum. Two hundred pieces. Li Kai, however, threw out this number nonchalantly without even batting an eye. This time, the doubling of his previous bid finally caused Bei Wen and Shi Hao to directly kneel on the ground. 
They wanted to scream out. Boss, these are immortal emperor refined jades. They're not ordinary jades. His bit nearly made Jian Wang Wang vomit blood from anger as she sharply glared at him. If they weren't in an auction house right now, she might have already taken care of him. Li Kai met her gaze and lazily said, How high can you go? Just be direct. One thousand or ten thousand? His arrogant demeanor enraged her. She had always been arrogant without a care for anyone, but today, Li Kai had suppressed her pride. So how could she not be furious and burn with an intent to kill? She sat straight down and didn't say anything. Nor did she bid again. Although she was unbridled with her pride, she was not stupid. She couldn't handle Li Kai's provocation. But she had no choice other than to step down. Using several hundred or one thousand immortal emperor refined jades to buy one alchemy fowl was too insane. She couldn't spend this many jades for such a creature. As the golden daughter of the Jian clan, she had always been pampered by her family. They, indeed, had a lot of immortal emperor jades. But it wasn't to the point where she could lavishly waste them. Despite her arrogance, she still had a sense of propriety. Two hundred immortal emperor refined jades, going once. The excited and quivering auctioneer shouted. Many people were silent. Besides ancestors from imperial lineages, very few could afford to pay this amount. Eventually, the auctioneer slammed his gavel as Li Kai spent two hundred immortal emperor refined jades for one alchemy fowl. The silent buyers had two separate trains of thoughts. Some of them believed that Li Kai was crazy while others said that he was the most prodigal son in this world. Bei Wang stuttered as he asked Li Kai, Young master, was this worth it? Li Kai only smiled, and others didn't see the nuances in the matter. The others believed that he was being wasteful, but he himself felt that it was completely worth it. Several other treasures were brought up afterward but no one bid as crazily as Li Kai. Jian Wang Wang scored two treasures among them. Li Kai no longer bid. Although these treasures were not bad, they were not worth him taking action. It is my honor to introduce the next treasure, a rock left behind by mortal Emperor Wang Chi. After hearing this, one buyer voiced his concern. I thought the Golem Square was going to place this rock as the last item of the auction? The auctioneer answered, Honored guest, excuse us, but there was a sudden change. The next item will be the featured item, so this rock could only be considered second to last. This stirred up the buyers. Prior to this, Many honor guests had a list of the items up for auction, but now, there was a sudden change. Such an occurrence was quite rare. This would only happen if this last item had an even more intimidating background. 